Interesting Ampharos. Oh, it's man. always a pleasure. You you did quite a good deal for the community with setting up those customs. Good thing on that. I still need to get the newest version on my my setup over there, though. Oh yeah, I can uh, hook you up after the tournament. I have a awesome. 3DS with it all set good up. Deal. Bueno but, dealo, as but they for, say. But for now, we have Big Harry Fart, which I have to tell you, yep. the man is a lot better than usually people who enter with tags like this would lead you oh, to yes. believe. Versus Dark Rain himself. He's definitely a solid player. I've seen him do some great stuff. He's doing some good things with Sheik. The recently reduced in strength Sheik, though, she's still... I'm not actually convinced, point. because mm -hmm. on one hand, they did nerf Sheik's back air kill yep. potential, but they... At least uh, Ryan, our other local Sheik main, was yeah. really telling me about it. They tweaked some of her other parameters in ways that actually helped her. Mm. Yeah, I, didn't they change her Bouncing Fish some? Yeah, I think they increased the kill power on yeah. Bouncing Fish and Vanish. Just a touch. Uh, yeah, on Vanish, too. Vanish is really fun. That was my favorite one to kill with on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's but so what's really more important is I think they tweaked the hit parameters on Fair just a bit. You ah. can't chain as many at low percent, but it combos into other moves better, actually. I see. So it's just different options. I see. God. Okay. I will tell you, this character is still a beast. If you expect her to fall from top tier, well, you shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, you're expecting something impossible. Or something such great. I mean, I was saying earlier that uh, in Melee, one of her biggest weaknesses is her recovery, and Bouncing Fish all but shored up all those weaknesses. It's some great <laughs> and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> because everyone can grab the edge. That's a fun thing. But anyway, the main dynamic of this matchup that I think we're really going to start seeing now that both characters are at high percent is that Sheik really has a much stronger neutral than Falcon. But off uh, any kind of a read at all, Sheik just dies, oh, yep. like you can see. Whereas yeah. Falcon's going to be a little tougher to take out with Sheik's fairly low kill power. Limited, yep. Going to have to try to work with those recently buffed hitboxes with the Bouncing Fish. Etc. And up smash, up air. Not quite doing it. Up smash, not doing it either. Living with those magnetic hands. And he gets some percentage in. Oh, is that I will a custom move right there? Zap needles, bringing it back, nice and even. Yeah, I actually don't know if those needles are really going to help all that much against Dark Rain, because they're mostly good for punishing characters who either have yep. a physical projectile in the way, like a Luma, mm -hmm. or who sit on their shield a lot, but... Oh, oh my. That's the wrong B move, and that is yes. an SD. That's... <laughs> a classic mistake for Smash 4 Sheik players, but it usually ends like this when it happens. Yeah. That... Oh, man. SDing in this game is just so brutal. With the two stocks... You just have no room to maneuver when you lose one of those. I mean, it seems like it's more than half of your life. Because as you have those, that first stock, holding on to the first stock when you still have two is just such an amazing boon after you've taken the other stock from the other person. You just get so much pressure. It's because you can take advantage. risk without fear. Because exactly. if you get red, you don't lose the game. You lose your stock and you still have a fresh one under your belt. All right, back at it. Some good up airs off the edge. Nice percentage, but there's some. I'm actually really surprised BHF went back to Battlefield. Yeah. Because I feel like this is a stage Dark Rain is very comfortable on. And one of the things as a player I've seen BHF take advantage of more than other Sheiks is walls. Oh man, he just got edge guarded right there. That was a. I want to say Great there's boy. something he could have done to make it back, but I'm not entirely sure what. I. You know, I'm not quite sure. It, it looked like he got bared away from the edge, so I didn't. I don't think he collided with it, so he couldn't have teched. I think but maybe no. he could have like drifted into the stage and wall jumped. Maybe. Oh, there's a nice back air. Yep. Seal that off. Make it a little closer. Still got a hefty 52% on that falcon now. They're definitely playing off this edge. There's a lot of action going on below that it, that stage. Well, that really makes a lot of sense for BHF to emphasize because his character might not be great at killing outright, but Sheik very much can go down there without fear. Yes, she has great. She can hop onto the wall. She has 
great movement around that edge, especially when she collides with it with the bouncing fish. Gives her a lot of horizontal mobility. And there's that forward hitbox, the sour spot on that down air, killing him off. And that's that's the set.